The program that we will use to prep our model and actually get it ready is Cura. Cura is an example of a slicing software, which Jude talked about earlier. So it is the program that is actually going to take our 3D model, slice it up into layers, and then send those layers as instructions to the printer to print. Cura is completely free to download, and it's also made by the same company that makes our 3D printers. So that's what we use here at the Idea Lab. You can download Cura by visiting ultimaker.com and clicking on software and Ultimaker Cura. And you can go ahead and download it for free. If you're having any issues with Cura on your computer, you can click on support and submit a request. We at the ID Lab are unable to help with any software issues, so if you are having trouble, be sure to reach out to Ultimaker for help. Once you have Cura downloaded, we can go ahead and click on it to open it up. One of the first things you want to do in Cura is set up what kind of printer you are printing for. So it gives you options at a networked printer or at a non-networked printer. Networked means that you're connected to it by Wi-Fi. Non-networked means that you are not connected to it. Um, and since you are not connected to the Idealab 3D printers from home, you can go ahead and click at a non-networked printer. And we have Ultimaker S3s. So you'll click on that and click Add. And now we see up here it says Ultimaker S3. So now you are getting your print ready for the correct printer. And now we see what Cura looks like. There's a lot here, but first we need to bring in our model to do anything. So to import our model, you click on File, Open File, and then we'll go ahead and find where our model is. Again, in this case, it's in my Downloads folder. So I'll just click on Fox and click Open. And now we see our model loaded into Cura. The cube that this fox is sitting in represents an imaginary 3D printer with this bottom part here being the build plate. So let's begin working on it. 